this is Dr. Tremontano, the medical director at the Neurocognitive and Behavioral Institute. And today's presentation is going to focus on the diagnostic and treatment services offered at the Mind Body Neuropsychiatric and Mental Health Center. Patients coming in to the Mind Body Neuropsychiatric and Mental Health Center will almost always receive a pretty comprehensive psychiatric assessment. We tend to use one or more versions of the SCID that's based off of the DSM-5. And in addition to that type of psychiatric examination, uh, patients will often receive various forms of psychological testing to assess what type of mood disorder they may have, the severity of those mood symptoms, whether they're related to uh, underlying types of conditions such as access to or personality type disorders or temperament based trait type of disorders. So that all gets teased out in the psychiatric assessment. A lot of patients presenting, for example, with various forms of anxiety disorders such as generalized anxiety, separation anxiety, post-traumatic stress related disorder. A lot of those patients receive what's called autonomic nervous system testing, which tells us what the tone of the autonomic nervous system is like. So for example, the autonomic nervous system, one way to conceptualize that is a parasympathetic or a relaxation type of branch of that older nervous system. And the other branch tends to be an activation or a sympathic branch of the autonomic nervous system. Patients with anxiety disorder, not all, but many will have excessive sympathic reactions and often that guides treatment in a certain direction to try to decrease those strong sympathic over arousal type fight flight and fear reactions so that's important testing to do that differentiation and as you'll see later in the presentation there are treatments that are directed at that level at the autonomic nervous system level to try to give patients uh, relief. Um, I'll show some examples of how we use neuroimaging, such as electrical neuroimaging and functional MRI, to help with the diagnostic uh, workup and teasing apart um, what might be going on with the patient and how best to treat their symptoms and deficits. Uh, related to the uh, autonomic nervous system testing is what's referred to here as biological testing. Uh, we'll fairly routinely do neurotransmitter analysis. Now, to really get an accurate assessment of neurotransmitters, such as catecholamines or serotonin, you really need to do a cerebral spinal fluid analysis, but that requires a lumbar puncture, which for this purpose, we often don't do that. So we use 24-hour urine collection uh, to give a, uh, a, a rough view uh, or assessment of uh, neurotransmitter activity and you know potential deficiencies or over uh, activation of certain neuro neurotransmitters. So it's it's not super accurate, but it's helpful in guiding some of the treatment decisions. Um, neuroendocrine. This is typically adrenal function and thyroid function testing. Generally, we do the um, adrenal function testing through saliva and the thyroid testing through through blood uh, micronutrient testing uh, this is often related to uh, vitamin b1 b6 b12 folate uh, zinc copper magnesium also can play a role in certain uh, neuropsychiatric conditions another type of testing that we offer at the institute is what's called pharmacogenomics um, this has become pretty popular over the last several years um, to give a look um, an assessment of how a patient may be metabolizing certain medications. We could run the panel for different psychotropic drugs in, 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 in this case for patients coming into this center. But once you have your genetic profile, uh, any doctor can use that information uh, for any type of medication to see how well you, you may be metabolizing uh, a certain type of medication based on your genetic profile. So these are some of the assessments that uh, we use uh, fairly routinely 
in working up patients who come into this center. Thank you.